Posted for President Trump says he'll visit Puerto Rico for the first time a week from today after the island was slammed by Hurricane Maria. The president also increased federal funding. Tonight, we're hearing from a Centerville mother who has not heard from her daughter or son in law since that hurricane roared through that area. Tunis reporter Maytel Levy shares one family struggle to find each other in our continuing coverage. I spoke with Diana Rangel. She lives in Centerville but has family stuck in Puerto Rico, like you mentioned. She hopes by sharing her story, she'll be able to get in touch with them. It's going on a week now. I have not heard from my daughter. Diana Rangel posted this photo of her daughter and son in law, hoping to hear they're okay after Hurricane Maria swept through Puerto Rico last week. She's eight months pregnant. Um, yeah. Really worried about her. Puerto Rico is facing a humanitarian crisis with a shortage of food, water, and gas. Gas is limited to only $10 a gallon. If you can find a gas station that's open. Most of the island is without power and cell phone service. Zero communication. It's awful. It's so bad. Can't even describe how we feel. Wrangle has found comfort through social media, sharing photos of her family and connecting with others online who are also searching for answers. On Facebook, we have posted pictures of our loved ones and where they're at and the town they're at. Hoping for any information, and it's it's terrible. Earlier Tuesday, in a series of tweets, President Trump wrote, "Texas and Florida are doing great, but Puerto Rico, which was already suffering from broken infrastructure and massive debt, is in deep trouble." Wrangle hopes Puerto Rico sees the same federal aid as Texas and Florida. We're hoping that President Trump will give even more aid than what was initially promised. Once he sees what's going on over there, we are very hopeful. Wrangle is also urging you to pick up the phone and call your representative tonight to push for more aid to Puerto Rico. You can also donate money or supplies on how and where to do that. Go to WDTN.com and look for this story. Live in Dayton, Mates Hall Levy, 2 News, working for you.